Hey there folks, it's UFO Bob, and today we're going to make the classic all-American meatloaf. Rich, thick, and moist. So stay tuned. Now before we get started, for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, I suggest you do so now. Select that bell notification so you don't miss another episode of UFO Bob. Okay, here's everything you're going to need. First, a couple of slices of bread. Then, six ounces of tomato paste. Three cloves of garlic, minced. Two eggs. A small green bell pepper, chopped up or minced, a small yellow onion, chopped up or minced, a tablespoon of olive oil, I use extra virgin, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a teaspoon of ground garlic, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of raspberry honey mustard, a tablespoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of ketchup, a teaspoon of A1 sauce, and a pound to a pound and a half of hamburger. Using a small pan, add in one tablespoon of olive oil, followed by your diced onions, bell pepper, minced garlic, and the salt and pepper. Now, on low heat, cook this slowly for about five minutes, stirring often. Next, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. While the oven is heating up, Tear up two or three slices of plain bread or even a soft roll and put them in a bowl and add a half a cup of water or milk if you prefer. Make sure that all the pieces are submerged and let them soak for a few minutes. Once the bread is fully soaked, add in the two eggs, the cooked onions and bell pepper, and don't forget to add a dash of A1 sauce and mix. After it's all mixed together, add in your hamburger. Using your hands, mix it thoroughly until everything is evenly distributed. Then, place it into a baking dish and shape into a loaf. Now, to make the glaze. In a medium-sized bowl, blend a six ounce can of tomato paste, a tablespoon of raspberry honey mustard, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter cup of ketchup, and a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Once thoroughly mixed, spread about half of it onto the top of your meatloaf and stick everything into the oven and cook for 50 minutes. After 50 minutes, remove the meatloaf and lather on the rest of the glaze and slide it back into the oven and cook for another 20 minutes. Finally, when it's finished cooking, let it cool for 10 or 15 minutes and serve. Well, there you have it. A little slice of heaven for your family. Let's try it out. Oh my, that's good. That's so good. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you'll tune in next time. Until then, this is UFO Bob. 